New year, new fire. New year, new desire. New year, new passion. New year, new action. I want you to take a second and think about it. Last year you said that was going to be your year. The year before that you said that was going to be your year. The year before that year you said that was going to be your year. So my question for you is what's it going to be? You right at the doorstep of another opportunity for you to make the changes you said you wanted to make. New year, new flame, new year, new change. But it all starts with guess who? You. If you're not where you want to be in your life, even if you are somewhat where you want to be in your life, there's always an opportunity to grow. There's always an opportunity to get better. There's always an opportunity to change. And I'm talking about any aspect of your life that you're not happy with. So the first thing I want you to do as you go into this new year and you want this new fire to start is I want you to sit down and write down what you like about where you're at and what you don't like about where you're at. I want you to look at that side that you don't like and I want you to pick the number one thing on there. And that's where I want you to lock in at. I want you to put so much effort into this year being better at that. So much effort that when you look back 365 days from now, you get to pat yourself on the back because you actually made the necessary adjustments. New year, new fire, new year, new desire. Now the second thing I want you to do for the new year is I want you to make those tough decisions. I know. It's not just you, it's me too. Making decisions can be tough. And we sit on five, 10, 15 difficult decisions that we need to make and we avoid them like the plague because it hurts us inside. But you said you wanted to be better for this year. And if you don't make those tough decisions, you just wander around aimlessly, stuck in a rut. New year, new flame, new year, new game. New year, new change. Everything that you want to achieve in your life is directly in front of you. So the last thing I need you to do for this new year is give yourself grace. And the reason why I say you gotta give yourself grace is because you will mess up. You will slip. You will fall down. You will fail. You will start something and stop and then you're gonna be mad at yourself. And that's okay, because you have to take a moment to feel, but you have to give yourself grace so you can pick yourself back up and jump back into the race. Nobody ever said it would be easy. Look at my shirt. It says I could have took the easy route. <laughs> but there is no easy route. You gotta do the work. You got to fall down. You got to pick yourself back up. You got to be your number one cheerleader. You got to keep yourself empowered and motivated. Or search out conversations like this to help you stay on track. But give yourself grace. So you can keep getting up each and every day and putting one foot in front of the other. And giving every ounce of your soul to be where you want to be 365 days from now. New year. New beginnings. New year. New winnings. This is your time. Success awaits. Greatness awaits. Legacy awaits. You got this. This is a great year to win. <laughs> Let's go.